Good morning. I think it was pretty fair to say that yesterday was a miserable day for many of us and there's yet more severe weather to continue over the next few hours and throughout the bulk of the day. In fact, the emphasis is still with the severity of the wind, quite unusual for this time of year and with trees in full leaf. No doubt that may well continue to cause some problems. But the emphasis of the strongest winds is now starting to change somewhat. We had the strongest of the winds across the southwest. You can see the blanket of cloud engulfing the country. Now, those winds are starting to move up across the channel and along the south coast and also up through the Bristol Channel, where we could see gusts of winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Inland, 50 miles an hour, but 60 miles an hour potentially along the coast. So very windy indeed to greet us first thing on our Friday morning and also very wet as well. The still be bands of heavy rain spiring around that area of low pressure. Temperatures fairly academic, but these are the numbers to greet you first thing in the morning. But it's going to be the cloud, the wind and the rain that will be the noticeable feature. With some heavy rain starting to drift a little bit further north, it does fragment somewhat and become quite showery in nature into the afternoon. And maybe along the south coast, we'll see a slightly brighter afternoon to come. So a better day in the southwest. Still pretty windy here, though. Some brightness along that south coast and perhaps towards the capital. 15 degrees by the middle of the afternoon. There'll still continue to be some pretty sharp showers across East Anglia, running up through the Midlands and into the north of England, and still some pretty blustery winds to boot. Up into Scotland, not a bad day. There's likely to be a few isolated showers, but you'll probably see the best of the weather. It will still be pretty windy, particularly on those exposed northeast coasts. And a similar story for Northern Ireland. The heavy rain should ease away during the afternoon, so a better afternoon in prospect. Maybe some glimpses of brightness. But one area which will probably stay wet throughout the day and we could again see some very heavy rain as parts of Wales. Now we're concerned about this. So there is the potential again for another 30 to 50 millimetres of rainfall, maybe in excess of 50 to 80 millimetres in some parts and that may well cause some localised flooding. So still travel disruption is likely with the strength of the wind and the rain. There's a risk of localised flooding. Stay tuned to your BBC local radio for more details. Edgbaston was a washout yesterday. There's a potential for more heavy rain through the course of the day today Day, becoming showery into the afternoon. A better day in prospect on Saturday. If we get some play, you can always listen to it on BBC Radio 5 Extra. Now, as we move towards the weekend, a slightly brighter prospect for many of us. A few showers into the northeast on Saturday. Cloudy but dry conditions in Scotland and Northern Ireland on Sunday. But the potential for more rain to come in the southeast. Take care.